the day, the last show we talk about stuff. Don't worry, folks. The media is not done disappointing you yet. In case you missed the news, there was a huge biker brawl here in Texas. The thugs. Thugs, 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 thugs. It is the same playbook with every single demographic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good at that. The, you know, as far as the liberal narrative goes, they're good at, you know, poisoning the water, you know, and then accusing someone else of doing it and then coming into the back door with a, with a lab coat on saying that we've got the cure for the problem. People apparently still believe that there is an unbiased media. More Republican presidential candidates? Of course. Hillary flounders. If she fails, if, if, if the base is not rallied behind her, I think they'll put in someone like Julian Castro. So I think Hillary's move is to kind of ice him and send a message, hey, I want to put this guy, and if he doesn't, if he, if he, if he doesn't choose to be my running mate, I think people are going to frown upon that. I think this is strategic. It almost seems as if what she's trying to do is to get all of the mini scandals and, and big scandals out front now so that people have scandal fatigue. Clinton aide and known scumbag Sid Blumenthal is making news for being, well, the scumbag. Sid Blumenthal is the tie that binds much actually most of Hillary's problems altogether. Ferguson, Missouri may not have been the organic grassroots response that people said it was. The Baltimore and Ferguson writers were thugs. Two really bad things. You're comparing at the same time. It would be like that. It would be like that. It would be exactly like that. I'm really Because biased. that's exactly what we did. Now, to make matters worse, because they always can get worse in situations like this, apparently. It seems that good old astroturfing was at play, too. Astroturfing, you know. Uh, it's when rich people or organizations pay individuals to protest in order to create an outcome that said rich people or individuals want. Seriously. They paid a whole mess of people to come in and put on this protest in Ferguson. And frankly, looking at this list and looking at these payouts, if you were in pro if you were protesting in Ferguson and you weren't paid, you are the sap. Look natural, look natural, look natural, look natural. Hold up, I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna take it in the ditch. Wow, you sat down with Kermit Gosnell. This is America's biggest serial killer and no one knows. It's yeah. ridiculous. And it was kind of hard to take with serious legitimacy some of the stuff that she was saying where she was making herself out to be almost a bigger victim. Considering where she was speaking, there's this uh, compulsion to qualify yourself. You have to make sure that when you step in that, okay, I've got a black audience, so I have to make sure that they recognize me as authentically black. And the way that I'm going to qualify myself as authentically black is that I'm going to paint myself as a victim and I'm gonna relate to you as a victim. I'm gonna make sure that you feel like a victim too. Now we've related, let's see where we can go from here. So These guys are beyond tone deaf. If you think the left is focused on the reality of the situation, well, then you're optimistic. George Stephanopoulos is a Clinton acolyte. I mean, up the butt of the Clinton machine. Yes. I have no other way to say it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe George Stephanopoulos. Ooh, boy, howdy, you're in deep trouble. Have you heard about the Boy Scouts' new ridiculous policy on water guns and water balloons? They are now freaking out over things like these. Super soakers, water guns. Who in their right mind would look at this and think that looks like a real gun? That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and I can't mock it enough. If I had another hour here on this network, I would spend an entire hour just mocking the insipidness and the juvenileness of, of that particular line of thinking. Go home. Delete your account. Go home. Oh my gosh.